We are going to test our well water from UWGV using our Hawk Field Kit. So this kit you would normally take with you to sample. So the kit comes with a meter. The meter is in a nice protective case. Um, different straps you can use if you are out on the field for real. Um, we have different probes. This is might look familiar. This one's for conductivity. It looks like the similar ones to what we have as our desktop. And we have dissolved oxygen. Um, this is a protective sleeve that we can take off. Uh, the kits also come with pH probes, but I've been keeping them out separate because sometimes they're not sealed very well and leak all over and just like the pH probes that we use on our desktop models, they should be kept moist. And they are kept very similar to our um, desktop models, except you have different kinds of... This is a fill solution for this, different than what our other pH probes are. And we have different pH storage solution. We have different directions here for our, our, our meters. Um, these are all from the manufacturer. Uh, just kind of cut out some of the extra stuff so it's easier to find what is important. Um, so, you know, go through these when you work with the meter. Um, like this is an example of the pH. Just the different parts and what it can do preparing for best probe the performance. And then what is very important is how to calibrate. Next one is just running your test samples for pH and a little bit of maintenance in case there is some trouble. And more troubleshooting problems. Next, calibrating the conductivity probe with its directions and our conductivity probe uses 1000 standard for it and only one standard for these meters and then notes troubleshooting cleaning um, you know that kind of thing uh, and then we also have dissolved oxygen and directions for calibration and troubleshooting and the directions on calibrating. And then in here is like, what are all these buttons on here? And what does the screen have on it? More troubleshooting on the meters, more troubleshooting. And that is it for our directions. First we are going to do the pH Pro. So, we're going to get out our meter, we're going to turn it on, and it says connect a probe, and you see that the battery is at about one third right here. Um, of course that's not our date, um, but grab a pH probe here. So as I get ready I found a stand that goes with the meter and then a little holder thing kind of helps you see the meter better. And I'm going to pour off some storage solution And I unpair filmed the probe. So I just loosened the cap here on this and it relieved some of that pressure and pull the probe right out of it. And I'm going to put the probe in the stand in the storage solution. Get this up. There you go. So it's in the storage solution right there. So, the end of the pH probe goes onto the top 
of the meter. And you see you have five prongs and you have more prongs and five prongs. So it could go on either of the five prongs. You see that there's a little bump in there. So kind of this one's got four prongs, but it's made for this meter. And then I'll just screw it on. Push it on and turn that to get it on there tight. So I just did that. I pushed it on and I screwed it so it's tight. And magically, the meter knows I put on a pH probe. There. So next I'm going to get ready to calibrate. I got my distilled water and a waste beaker, which I will put a label on. And I'm going to pour off these pH solutions, which are the standard solutions that most probes use into these little beakers here to do our calibration. One thing about these probes is just like the desktop is you have a little hole here to uncover when you're doing your measurements and calibration. Okay, I have everything ready to calibrate. So I'm going to lift my probe out of the storage solution. Rinse it off. Let it dry. Put it into my four standard. Kind of swish it a little bit. Hit calibrate. Rinse probe, put in buffer, and push the read key. All right, read. See it stabilizing. It is done. Read another buffer or push done to review and store results. We're going to do all the buffers so we can have the entire pH range ready to go. If we're only going to do a pH of 4 for our calibration and pH of 7, we would want to have only acidic test samples. But we're going to be prepared for all of them. Okay, grab my pH of 7. This is kind of the order that you generally do it in. It's 4, 7, and 10. Uh, doesn't seem like the meter really cares which order you do it in. Well, it sort of does, but... Alright, put it in another buffer, push done to review or sorry results. Well, we're going to read another one. Alright. It is stabilizing. It looks like it is already done and it wants you to read another buffer or push done review. Well, we're going to read another buffer. We'll take it out of the 7. Oh. Let's rinse that off. Water dry. Put it in the tent. Push read and it's stabilizing. All right, it is done. Push done to review and store results. Here's our results. See, we have a date that's not our date. We have a slope. And compared to your results, make sure everything looks okay. I rinsed it, flooded it dry, and now I'm going to do my test sample. So, well, we're still on the calibration. Let's hit store. All right, 
So we're ready to do a sample. Put it in our well water sample. Hit read. And as you see, since we calibrated, we got a little curve up here. Seeing our calibration is okay. So our well water is finally complete. pH is 6.99. And that's our pH reading. I am now going to rinse off the probe. Let it dry. And put it back into its little storage container and pair of them. I'm going to loosen this up so I, it's easy to put it in. And then I'll tighten it up and pair of it. And we are done with the pH section. So next, we are going to test our test sample for conductivity. So I have a conductivity probe. So we are going to calibrate. I have this full all the way. And I come over here and I hit the button. Calibrate. Put rinse the probe, put it in a standard and push the read key. There's a read key. So it knows it's once the 1000 standard and that's what reading it's getting right now. It looks done. It's all locked. I can say push done and review to store results. Done. Review your results and hit store. All right. Again, it says it's okay and ready to go. I'm going to take it out of my 1000 standard. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Dry. Get rid of that. Get my test sample. Put it in my well water from UWGB. And let's go hit read. And it is stabilizing. Finished and it's stabilized. And this is our reading here from our well water from UWGB. So this is the dissolved oxygen probe. And like the others, it's the four prongs. I'm going to hook it into the same spot. And this is a protective cover here that can be removed. So I have connected the probe. And now I'm going to remove the protective base. I believe it just pulls right off. So I'm going to put it in our usual stand here. So we need a BOD bottle. And this comes with our kit. And then we have a cap that comes with our kit. And so, this is uh, what you need your BOD bottle, the squirt bottle, which you know, right here, beaker for rinse water. Um, we may want to soak the probe to remove excess junk on it before use. And cause drift, if it would cause drifting and slow response time. So, that's where you might want to. Um, soak it. And you should always have the protective probe on when you're not using it, obviously. So our directions are on the next page. We have our BOD bottle and we add a little bit of water to it. And then we're going to take the stopper, shake it vigorously for several minutes. Okay, I will do it for several minutes. Test stabilized. Calibration has passed. Push done to review and store results. Done. And there is our results there. 
and store. Next we are going to do our test sample and obviously our test sample is not in the proper container. But since this is a demonstration, we're just going to take a reading on our test sample. Of course it's been exposed to air and all that, but you know, it's just a demonstration. And let's see what our groundwater is. It is still stabilizing. And there it is. That's our dissolved oxygen. And that completes our demonstration of our HQD meter.